Hey, Redrix. You wanted to ask to confirm if Gifted Pro, once expired, does not give basic. That is correct. It does not give basic. It reverts back to trial. I'm pretty sure you also r lose your rating that you acquired, but I don't know for sure. See a few new names in the users list, but um, as usual, don't hesitate to ask any questions. I'm happy to go through whatever topic. Um, I was, it's been requested of me to go through the uh, the map and um, and uh, what do you call it? Like the the, spe the specifics of each region, and I'm happy to do so. I'll, I'll I'll actually do it a little bit more in depth than that. We'll see what happens. Yeah, guys, uh, if you're new to the stream, uh, don't hesitate to ask any question. Seriously, I can go over whatever. Um, I gotta figure out my own base right now, so this is gonna be fun. So, yep. Look, I'm out of drinking water. Well, let me settle my last uh, base concern here real quick, and then I'll jump into some uh, just some pro tips and stuff and going over the map uh, since there's no questions. But um, once I settle this, if there's let's see if there's any questions in the meantime. One sec. See what I could do here. I think I got. Yep. 
Okay, let's settle that for now. And then... That should be sufficient, I think. Gotta hold on to some. Yeah, it's a partial load, but that's a... F you know what? Let's figure out what I can do here. Let's see what Fido does. So, uh, fit, LST... Uh, I can't do math right now. I seriously fit, feel stupid. Um, 290T, uh, 400M. 106. Uh, so, uh, Stowen. Oh, what happened to Unstoppable 1, 2, and 4? Um, we don't talk about that. Uh, 1, 2, and 4, uh, they're fine. They're perfectly fine. Um, how's the weather? Um, I think the weather's fine over here. I mean, it's just a little cloudy. It's Chicago area, so. Um, let me tell... They became stoppable? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Stowen, I only do... You only do EXT. So, um... The corp I'm in is uh, FIOC, and what we are doing is we basically hev heavily leverage uh, horizontal expansion per base. What, I, what that means is, like, you focus on one thing, and then you give your stuff to another uh, person uh, on the same planet to process. So, for example, on Proxion, uh, we have, like, three or four farmers, just all farms, and they feed me inputs to make rations, and then in return, I just give them back stuff for free. So we're kind of like, quote-unquote, space communists. Um, but yeah, on Gibson, I'm doing... Uh, oh yeah, I have plenty of me. I have 435 right now. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, on, on Gibson, I'm just doing iron extraction. I pass my iron ore to smelters, uh, and then Etherwind, Harmonia, and Promontor. I'm just doing water extraction. Um... This is a little bit boring by most people's standards, but the um, the interesting bit about this is it, it it's no longer a um, a money problem. It becomes a logistical hell, right? Because we have like twenty to thirty um, uh, people uh, in the corp, right? And we need to figure out how to get everything to everywhere. It's a different problem set to solve. So we basically trade everything to each other for, like, one currency. That's effectively what we do. Oh, crap. I hope I don't have to jump off. That'd suck. I shouldn't, but... I should be okay for now. Divide, divide in small groups? Yeah, we kind of do. We, we do divide in small groups. Like, each planet has its own, like... We have specific chains, but th there is an overarching thing, right? And I'll, I'll go over that in a little bit here. From the mothership? There is no... Well, sure, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, we, we... Like, for example, like because of, out of necessity, there are separate groups. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, it was requested in um, Prosperous Universe Discord um, that I... Uh, go over the map, and I'm happy to do so here. Um, so, we're going to do so. Um, so, I'm going to get rid of fleet base, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have green is Incitor. Okay, so um, effectively uh, what uh, Hortus or Incitor uh, uh, region is known for is basically the breadbasket of the universe. Um, so, let's go here. Let's take a look at Hortus. Um, kind of a, uh, a pro tip for people that don't know. If you have a link to any of the planets, um, you can mouse over the link and it kind of just does that little blue pulsating thing. You know, I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better, but you can see uh, where it is lo located. Uh, another one, since a lot of people are new people here, um, PLI, it normally does stuff like, hey, you need to type, uh, what is it, VH331A, right? And that's how you get Promotor. But 
if you just type PLI and hit enter, it becomes a search bar. So you can type Promotor and it you can search that way. But okay, we'll go over this really quick. Um, the Promotor region or the uh, Hortus region, uh, also or, or or IC1, which is the uh, exchange code. So Hortus Commodity Exchange is IC1, right? Um, is known is the breadbasket of the universe, right? So it has probably the uh, best. Um, it, it it is. I would say it is the best um, food planet, food production planet, being a Promotor. Promotor has um, really good fertility, pro the second highest in the game. But um, again, I, I keep saying this uh, a lot that fertility doesn't matter quite as much. Yes, it's helpful, but it's not the not the uh, deciding factor in most cases. Water is a huge deal. Basically, what you can do is because of how um, uh, farms work. Let's bring that up. BUI farm or BUI BUI FRM. You can see that like, hey, there's a lot of like low input recipes, like one H2O, right? But the big deal is, hey, you can basically do spend more water for faster amounts of crops. So four water to four grain six water to, to four beans and then three water to four veg and that is the fastest recipe the th uh, the three part recipe you can do in farms so what you what that means is on other planets you might require two rigs to sustain that but on promontory you only need one so um that is the uh that is the great part about uh Promotor, is just the high water concentration Yes, the fertility helps. It's what, let's take a look at that. I don't actually remember the exact number, but uh, let's see what Promotors is. So Promotors is 12.12%. So you get an additional 12.12% uh, efficiency. So on the other end of the spectrum, right, is, so you'll see it's 36.4 water per day for a single rig. Etherwind, minus 21.21. Um, so, and, but you get more water. So yes, you can farm on Etherwind. You probably shouldn't because we're talking a difference of around what thirty? What is? Uh, I, don't, I don't. I can't do math. Twelve point. Twelve point twelve. And then uh, Etherwind is twenty one point twenty one. In the opposite direction. So it's like a thirty three percent difference. Um. So we're talking best planet versus worst worst planet is a 33% difference in efficiency. Uh, again, water is the bigger deal. So even if you have like, for example, let's look at like Katoa, right? Compared to Promotor, that's a 16% difference of efficiency. Uh, but the big the big deal is really the water. Also, you don't want to be on Katoa; it smells terrible there. Um, so let's go back to the map here. We have Promotor, which is the uh, breadbasket of the universe. So you can see that by going to the commodity exchange. Let's look at the consumables basic. And the reason I know basic, I, I just know this, but if you type MAT rat, or you find ration somewhere on your base and click it, the box here, um, you can see the category right here, consumables basic. That's how you know what to check. So, um, you know what? Actually, let's do this. Let's do CXM. This is a pro feature, but it's just a nicety. You can see that on Hortus Station, the price, um, you can ignore CI2 and NC2, is, is pretty much the lowest, right? So we have 78 on AI1, 73 on CI1. Okay, so it matches Benton, but it's normally got many more orders. see yeah like you're seeing like lots of 2000s here right so it's known as the bread basket that's what I see one is pro tip if you choose a planet within that without an atmosphere it doesn't smell that's true um okay so I, I believe Hortus also has now a very good source of hydrogen um or at least it had one of the earlier good sources of hydrogen, I believe. I'm trying to think where that was. And this is where we go back to planet search. 
Uh, hydrogen. Ch -ch -ch. Gaseous, low gravity, pressure. Oh, what was the command for exchanges? Yeah, yeah, I can definitely go over that. Um, so, CXL is the command, it's on the left side. But if you want to see, like, uh, the individual, st uh, individual, I'm sorry, the overview, you can type CXM. It is a pro feature. It's just a nicety, right? So it's CXM followed by the material ticker, which in this case is RAT. Um, again, it's just really a nice to have. I mean, arguably, you could just type CXP, CI, uh, mat dot, uh, what is it, rat.ci1, and then do the same thing for uh, rat.ic1, where the, 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 the second half, by the way, just so people aren't aware, the dot CI1 is the, uh, the, the MIC, which is, uh, I don't actually know what that stands for. What does it stand for? Let's see if I can see what it stands for. Uh, market identifier code. So, yeah. Uh, let's go back here. Let's see what we have. I want near uh, Hortus. Yeah, so Hydron. So this was like the early game good hy uh, hydrogen source. Uh, I think it also had an HE3. I don't remember. But effectively early game and now, for the most part, it is the breadbasket. Okay. So then let's go back to Moria. Let's go up to Moria here. Moria is known as the construction area. Um, the reason for this is because the starting planet, one of the major starting planets, it's, is Montem. Okay. So Montem has, is unique in that it has both iron ore and limestone. Both of those are exceedingly heavy, right? Um... So mat LST and mat FEO. So uh, iron ore is 5.9 tons, limestone is 2.73. That's pretty heavy when all you have is 500 tons of space in a hauler. But what's really important is that if you type BUI PP1, you go take a look. Look at all the recipes, FE, LST, FE, LST. BSE and BBH are the most used followed by BDE and BTA. So this is why uh, it's known as the uh, the construction center of the universe. And if you take a look at the exchange, you can also see that. Um, so let's see what other options we have. I guess there's Valus as well. So Valus is got a higher concentration of iron ore. So um, does it, what else does it have? Yep. Um, Yeah, so it has a higher concentration of iron ore, so this is kind of like the smelter central for the most part. Let's see what they're running, Global Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, they're running metallurgy, right, which makes sense. Whereas um, Montem has traditionally run uh, construction, but I think now they're doing uh, chemistry? No, they've run pioneers, but they're trying to do chemistry. Okay, chemistry is what they're doing now, sorry. Um, yeah, so the reason for the chemistry, uh, you can talk to, it's a political question, but presumably it's because it'll help downstream. As in, hey, we have more chemistry on the planet, so we can uh, use some of this stuff from lower down. Um, I don't know the argument there, but whatever. Uh, so, uh, what else does, uh, let's see, what else Moria has? And I keep forgetting what Moria has over here, because I'm not as active, but... I think the uh, the major let's see cub is over here right no it's cubs over here what does cub have nitrogen okay so that's a good source of nitrogen I forget what nitrogen used for but oh yeah nutrient solution so uh, nitrogen is a key component of nutrient nutrient solution and nutrient solution is used primarily in hydroponic farms uh, the most notable being caffeinated beans caffeinated beans used for coffee. Uh, let's see what else we got. I'm trying to think what we have over here. And I, there's okay. So Karuna's over here. Karuna is iron ore and halite. Uh, Libertas. I don't even know what Libertas is used for. What are they doing over here? Construction. That's a weird one. PB2s maybe. I don't know. 
Uh, Prism is an, of the one of the early game um, sources of helium. Okay, what else we got? Cersei is, I think this was a, a focus of, what was this focused on? Chemistry for uh, SNF, I believe. It's a corporation. There you go. Roderick says, Karuna has more FEO than Valus, so it's an excellent alternative to Valus for second bases. Um, yeah, that works. That makes sense. So you'll note here that I'm looking through all of uh, um, of uh, Montem space, or Moria space, I should say. And I don't see... There, there, there isn't really a good option in terms of uh, food, right? So uh, this, this, the primary export is going to be uh, construction materials, right? And their import is going to be food. So uh, effectively, these two guys are kind of linked pretty heavily. If you, if, if you noticed, I'm trying to think if there's, there's got to be. I think there was one planet that's good for food in this area, but it's like a few jumps out. Somebody remind me if I'm, what I'm missing here. Uh, ch -ch -ch might be external space. You know what? Here, let's go to file. Let's limit by fertile and distance to Moria. So, okay, verdant. Okay, so verdant is five jumps out. So verdant is yi. 715B. Why I 715B? Where are you? Okay. There it is. So Verdant's out here. It's five jumps out, but it has um, good water concentration, very good water concentration, good oxygen, and uh, fertility that's positive, right? So this is effectively uh, the, um, the closest source of food that isn't Promotor. So generally speaking, you know, and not only that, because of this location, um, YI, what was it again? 715B. You'll, you'll notice that it's kind of equidistant between um, bottom and uh, this red area over here, which is Benton. Let's see. It's five. Oh, I was completely wrong. So the closest is, Ver is, is uh, Moria. Okay, so there, that settles that. Basically, the construction center of the universe is right here, right? Exports construction out to Benton and uh, Promotor. And then we have Promotor, which is exporting food, rations, and drinking water out to um, to uh, Moria space, and then also Antara space for some for a little bit. But most it, the primary direction is north here. Uh, and then over here we have Benton space. So uh, the, the the Benton breadbasket is so the Benton area is kind of known as both the fuel center of the universe uh, because of Katoa. So Katoa, oh, that's not it. This one. So uh, Katoa has uh, both alum, uh, ammonia and gallerite rock. So if you look at Matt Space SF, we have ammonium and gallerite rock. Ammonia and gallerite rock. So uh, that is early game, at the very least. It's the center of uh, fuel, uh, standard STL flight fuel. The uh, the only thing that's missing from the planet is hydrogen. Thankfully, right next door, we have Umbra, which has a pretty decent for a starting planet source of hydrogen. Um, as far as bread baskets are concerned, in in, in uh, uh, Benton space, the Benton bread basket is actually. Um, going to be Proxion, so it's gonna be it's gonna be Proxion and Nemesis. So Proxion right here, Proxion has positive fertility, but it does not have a good source of water. Thankfully, nearby or relatively nearby is Etherwind. So let's find where Etherwind is. I have a plant. I have a base on Etherwind. So let's mouse over that link. Let's close in buffers here. It's over here, sorry. Keep closing the wrong side. So Etherwind is right there. So it's, um, as, uh, as far as I know. Yeah, so so on uh, A-F-A-I-K is as far as you know. 
See you, see you around, Eleanor. Yeah. So what we have, Promator, is the positive. Uh, it's got good source of, sorry, just to go over, not Promator, Proxion. My apologies. Proxion is right here. Proxion has good fertility, so it's a good place for farm, but low water. But it has a great source of limestone. Etherwind, which is over here. Okay. And we've talked about this. This is the planet that has great water, but really the worst soil fertility in the game. So what ends up happening is we have this this raw we have some this water and uh, drinking water export to Benton because it's pretty close, as and then what you do is you grab the water from Benton space and bring it to Proxium, right? Like or the exchange and bring it to Proxium. So this is what grows um, grows the most food because it's one jump away or is it two jumps? I, I think it's one jump away. Yeah, it's one jump away from the exchange Proxium. The other alternative is Nemesis. Where is Nemesis? Ch -ch -ch. Skeevy Prime. Millyways. Ch -ch. Nemesis is out here. So, Nemesis is another alternative. Has great water, positive uh, um, fertility. So, this is a good option. The downside of Nemesis is that it is JS299. I believe. Let's see. Where is Nemesis? Nemesis is the downside is four jumps out, which is fine. That's totally reasonable. It has great water concentration, great oxygen, so you can you can basically farm farm there as well. Um, yeah, I mean that kind of goes over the Benton area. Uh, so I I think I briefly mentioned this before it being interrupted, um, by chat something. Uh, but effectively, Benton area is the STL flight fuel area of the universe as well as the jack of all trades master of none part of the universe okay what i mean by that right if we go back to an example of proxion which was over here proxion has a great uh entry level source of limestone and then we have gibson which is where is gibson Ch -ch -ch -ibisu. gibson which has great a, a decent source of iron ore early game but it doesn't have limestone. So what you do is you either ship the iron ore, which you shouldn't do, uh, or you ship the limestone from Proxion to Gibson to to make uh, building prefabs. So uh, if 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 you're starting to see uh, like a trend here, right? So um, CI space or uh, Benton space is going to be uh, it's going to benefit people primarily that are coordinating together. So that's why. FIOC is in Benton space. So what we do is I ship a lot of limestone to Gibson and along with other stuff, right? So, um, yeah. Next is going to be Antares. Antares is down here. The primary uh, 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 factor for... The primary thing that Antares is known for is they have the early game or the only source of... I think the only reasonable source of aluminum on a starting planet. So, if we go to Antares 1, is it Phobos? I don't think it's Phobos. I think it's Deimos that has it. Yeah. So, Deimos has the uh, the only reasonable source of aluminum ore uh, in a starter planet. So, aluminum ore, which goes into aluminum, so you smelt it down to aluminum, is used in a PP2. Uh, where's PP2? Okay, so PP2 is right here. So, why is that useful? So, aluminum, the reason why aluminum is awesome is because it enables a the next tier of building materials, but you can also build basic, you can also build uh, the pioneer level um, prefabs. So, you can do both with a PP2. You're, you're running, if you only have pioneers, you're running at 50% efficiency, but, you know, it requires settlers, so it's 25 and 25, which isn't terrible. The, the 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 awesome thing about aluminum in comparison to uh, iron, so if we go mat Fe versus mat Al, is that that weight difference is ginormous. So in a ship, you can fit, I think, let's see, what's Fe? Fe is, you can fit at most 63 uh, iron in a single hauler. and But you can fit 185 aluminum in a uh, hauler. So aluminum is much more um, con like uh, compressed, 
in comparison um, to iron. So it's really beneficial to uh, basically, you can export it and make pretty profit there, right? Uh, especially if people are trying to build LFABs. LFABs being the L tier, the lightweight. Uh, the L LDEs, which is lightweight deck elements, LSE, lightweight structural elements, etc. Um, and server space also is uh, the, the place for electronics. Yeah, but it also does uh, construction. As I mentioned, PP2. Um, early game, it was a rough start for Antares space, um, but you know that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, the the breadbasket for Antares space, or the only source of reasonable um, food, is Harmonia. Harmonia is here. It's got mediocre, mediocre, like less than positive soil fertility, but the water is what's the saving grace here. So this is the closest source of basically food for Harmonia. Um, so what generally happens is, you know, maybe a, a good portion of food is sourced from Harmonia, but a lot of it is exported out here from uh, Institute Space. Uh, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything here. Uh, does anything know if I'm missing anything? Um, ch -ch -ch. I know there's the other exchanges, but you really shouldn't focus on those at all. You should basically ignore them for the most part if you're starting. So there's one over here, which is uh, in Arclight. So Phobos also does electronics. Yeah, sure. So Phobos does electronics. Um, Phobos also has, what is it? Phobos also has iron, iron ore, but it's minimal. It's basically... You shouldn't be building a PP1 there. You shouldn't be extracting iron ore. Maybe early game would have made sense, but or early universe, but yeah. Uh, in Antares space, there is Nike. So Nike is a simple. It's a. Let's see, where are you? Got to find it. I don't know the map as well as uh, in this area. Oh, there's apothecary. That's apothecary. Is it empty? It's empty. Where is Nike? All right, let me search it. It's gaseous. Gaseous, low temp, I think, or maybe just low gravity. We'll see. Oh, it's one jump. Okay. Still, and I'll take a look at Mentor in a second here. One sec. I I, I wonder if like. Uh oh. Let me uh, refresh this page. It started not. Watch file what goes down while I'm streaming. That'd be awesome. Actually, it wouldn't surprise me. No, it's up. It's just slow. Okay, so it's one jump away. You said. There it is. Okay, so um, it is. One of the early, so it's a rocky planet that requires, um, it's low pressure, so it requires uh, SEA, SEA being polysulfite sealant. And you'll notice that, yeah, so out of all of the surrounding area, this is the only source of limestone. So that's what made um, early game really rough for, uh, early universe, I should say, really rough for Antara space. But uh, now that it's settled and there's, there should be plenty of limestone on the CX, and let's see. We can check that. Oh, type typoed. Yeah, plenty of limestone, right? Um, wow, that's a giant spread. That's interesting. So, um, yeah. Basically, that's why you know, uh, yeah, limestone was really rough early game had to buy limestone uh, basically from Benton space effectively. Okay, so uh, next one is Amentior. Amentior is Arclight, like I was saying. Um, early game, if you're new to the game, you should uh, pretty much uh, ignore this area. I mean, Amentior is a decent planet. It's plenty of limestone. But, as you can see, 
It is 10 jumps away from Benton, and that's the closest guy. Um, and if you're that far away for just limestone, and that's the primary... I guess, I, I suppose you can also do aluminum, right? So, let's just take a quick look. Yeah, so, uh, it's going to be CI2. Yeah, so there's no so, there's no good uh, aluminum available, but there is... And there's no limestone, right? So, the external the exterior planets, because they don't have market makers... Um, they're not super uh, used, effectively. So it's, it's Mentuar over here, or, I'm sorry, and uh, Arclight, and where's the other guy? Way up here! Um, not that one. It's Huber, yeah. So, uh, just a source of history. Yeah, there's lots of trading on the LM there. So it's, it's, a, it's a corp central. It's, it's a corporation area, effectively. The history of the exchanges there is there was a competition to uh, add uh, some exchanges. And, um, yeah. Basically, whoever uh, like populated the anything outside of seven jumps from any major CX, uh, they, they chose two, two areas to mark as having new commodity exchanges. You'll have to forgive me, I've got a little bit of a cold here. Uh, let's see, what else are we missing? I'm trying to think if there's any major planets. Let's see, let's let's just go back to the Tier 1 planets so I can dig through this. Um, Avalon. Avalon has a good source of MAG. I don't know what MG... I don't know. What's MAG even used for again? MGC and literally nothing. I mean MGC, but that requires a PP3. Um, I think the big one is this was a late edition, the um, TS, because TS, and this is a complicated one. This is only really useful early game. Uh, <laughs> stay away from Nova Hanshu, yes, but TS can be used in a smelter. I'm sorry, uh, you can use it in a refinery to make HE3. Um, early game, this would have been early universe. They w this would have been really useful, um, or is really useful. But now that we have good HE3 uh, taps on gaseous planets, uh, glad to have you, Stone. Yeah, uh, good. jump back on, jump, jump that worker meeting. I get it. Um, I'll be saving this video and publishing it to YouTube and stuff. So, but uh, so basically, yes, this is useful early early universe, but now that we have a good HE3 tap, meaning we have a uh, some gaseous planets that have really good HE3 concentration. Uh, and let's take a look and see. Uh, HE3. I can show you which ones are good. Let's show plot counts. Search. Um, so we have VH043 E. Cortis, really good source of HE3, which is 9.41 daily. DW456G, which is near Moria, Mountain space, uh, 9.33, and Hermes, which is in Antares space, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, 4.38. So those are small values, but that's um, per, because it's uh, gaseous, it's per 12 hours, versus what you would have to do in this instance is you'd have to use an extractor to pull out TS, which takes what? What's the base time of extractors again? I think it's like 16 hours or 14 points. It's 12. Oh, I'm sorry, it's 12 hours. What is collector again? Collector is six hours. So yeah, so you'd have to spend 12 hours plus six hours. So we're talking 18 hours to generate two HE3, whereas opposed you'd only need 12 hours or six, I'm sorry, six hours to pull nine. 9 HE3. So basically, this this uh, late game rendered this resource use, uh, useless, actually. So, uh, what else we have? Uh, we have Promotor, Montem, we've gone over Valis, Katoa, Katoa, we went over Phobos, we've went over Proxion, Demos, we've went over Gibson, Harmonia, yep, Umbra. Danakil. I don't know. Danakil is apparently used for construction. 
Yeah, it looks like it's just a full-on import construction place. That works. Verdant, uh, we talked about. Etherwind, which is, you know, very good water concentration and oxygen. It's actually really good overall. Um, just doesn't have fertility. It's the worst fertility in the game. Prism, used for, it's an early game source of HE. Uh, Nemesis, uh, good uh, for good um, agriculture place. Boucher, Boucher, I suppose, is a good one. Boucher has the probably the best water concentration, or nearly the best water concentration in the game. Uh, Bobby Boucher. Nova Honshu, um, uh, as uh, Glady mentions in the chat, you should stay away. But uh, yeah, it's a good source of CLI, which is used to, uh, in, let's see, CLI is basically turned into uh, iodine? Yes. So it's used in soil, which is only really used for a few uh, population infrastructure things, and iodine, which is a major thing uh, for uh, MHLs, which is used in hydroponic farms. Um, yeah. So Nav Navigor210 asks, how bad of an idea to colonize a new planet? If you, if by new planet you mean a planet without uh, population, um, right now it probably wouldn't be the greatest idea. Uh, the reason is because most of the planets that uh, most of the planets that are decent have already been colonized. Um, but it, let's say you know I, I, if you're talking about just starting a new planet, so like you know my second base or your second base, yes, you should do so. Um, it's a, it is a area efficient way of expanding. Uh, what I mean by that is you can you can use a permit to expand your area by 250 up to an additional 500 total. So you can spend three planets three permits on a single planet for a thousand space or you can spend three permits on three separate planets for 1500 space. So a if you're talking about just starting a new base, Yes, you should prioritize that. That's probably your best bet. Obviously, that all depends, as is usual in this game. But if you're talking about an empty planet, like, hey, you find something out here, right? And you're like, okay, I, I really think I can pull this off, right? Um, what you can do is you can do a, a, a core module itself will support roughly 800 pioneers. Um, yeah, about 800 pioneers. Uh, and um, it, it doesn't it doesn't come immediately so it take around I think it, it takes around 12 weeks to get to that point so because of how populations work in this game um, Maisel, I'll go over that in a second but uh, because of how populations work in this game so you can see here that hey there's like a population uh, report thing effectively um, your, your populations on your planet grow slowly uh, on most starter planets, you don't have to worry about this because primarily on starter planets, you're doing pioneers, and pioneers on starter planets are handled by the governors. But uh, if you're starting on a, a empty planet, um, you basically uh, have to take into take this into account. You're gonna have to run some spreadsheet analysis and figure out what you have to do. And most of the time, what that entails, or pretty much all the time, what that entails is population infra infrastructure stuff. So if you click on the poppy for the planet, you ha you might have to build a safety station, and you have to contribute stuff to the safety station to uh, make the pioneers happy. So what this does is it provides safety, and safety is one of the things that uh, pioneers like to in order to grow. And um, if if you look at this, it says the population grows when the happiness is over seventy percent and declines if below fifty percent. So uh, you kind of have to play with the values here and figure out how to do this. If you are interested in that. Um, I will paste the link, but it's basically pct.finar.net population infrastructure. Uh, and this goes over pretty much everything. Um, it's spreadsheet heavy, which is normal. Um, for the game. It's par for the course. Oh, I got a notification. Sweet. I forgot to fulfill that. Let me mention that. One second, uh, where are you? Okay, so to go over, um, 
I'm just going to refresh to get rid of all these buffers. To go over HQ stuff, I, or permits. Uh, so, uh, to start, so basically what we have is we have something called an HQ. Okay. And so if you click base or BS, click on any view base, doesn't matter, and then click on HQ, you have an HQ. So an HQ gives you uh, efficiency gains based on where you're located. So you can basically move this guy uh, every once in a while. So you can move it to a different uh, planet. Uh, let's go over the handbook. Um, HQ, I believe. Nope. Headquarters. Okay, so here are the bonuses. Antares in Initiative gives you 5% bonus on electronics. Castillo gives you 5% bonus on manufacturing. Institor gives you 3% bonus on agriculture, 2% bonus on food. Neo Charter, Metallurgy and Construction, and the No Faction is Chemistry, Fuel Refining, Resource Extraction. So that is one as aspect of the HQ. The next aspect of the HQ is, it's the primary means of which you gain additional base permits. Okay, So what base permits are, is you start with two. So what you can do is your first planet uses one of them, and, your and what you can do is you can either utilize that permit to settle a new planet for 500 area, or you can expand. Uh, you can click this add or remove here, and you expand the available area on your on your existing base. The give and take, of course, is you, you can, you're only limited to spending two additional permits, as you can see, two out of three in my instance, and it's only 250 area for each additional planet, or additional permit on an existing planet, but it's, an, it's a full 500 area for a new planet. Um, if you see a planet, let's see, let's go to Montem, I guess. Um, if you click down here, there is a cost to starting on a new planet. It's around 70,000 currency, but this is the materials that you need just to start the planet. This is not including the habitations and the building materials for the building, the extraction buildings, etc. right? So there's, there is a cost for doing the new base. So it's worth keeping that in mind. Um, but yeah. Effectively, if you want to see the costs of each HQ level, here they are. At level 5, you gain an additional Q slot, two Q slots, which is nice. Um, but, yeah, you can see the costs here. Um, this is the uh, quote-unquote hard block on trial accounts. Uh, it's worth noting that once you get to this hard block... Uh, you've probably been playing between uh, 9 to 12 months. So if we go to Pro License here, uh, your headquarters upgrade, you cannot upgrade your... Uh, if you're a trial count, you can't upgrade past level 5. But at that point, you've been playing for 9 months. If you've been playing for 9 months, throw the devs a damn bone, right? Like, give, pay for a month of Pro, and then what you could do is you could, you could save up for a month of Pro, pay it, and then just upgrade, 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 and then your Pro lapses, and then you're back in basic, right? Um, that's one way to approach that problem. So let's see, for a new player, better to stay and expand on first base then? Um, it depends. It really depends, Maisel. Um, it depends on uh, if you think you can make more money uh, by expanding. Um, if that's your goal to you know to do that, I mean, it, it also depends on what your goals are, right? Uh, it, it, it just depends. Uh, I will say that because of the uh, new, pl because there's so many pl new players and the planets are getting full, the quote-unquote new meta is uh, kind of starting to go towards expansion on existing bases. Yeah. So, uh, Maisel, I, I, he, uh, how, how, uh, how old is your count? How long have you been playing? Just so I know. Let's see if your your name matches. It does not. Um. Basically, it's going to take you about two months to fill up your 500 area base. That's my guess. It, it's going to vary. But um, I would worry about it then. <laughs> two weeks. Okay. So you got like, you know, another six to seven weeks. Uh, so uh, worry about it in about five weeks, right? 
uh, at that point you'll start you'll start kind of gra grasping the game a little bit better and then you'll go okay i know what i need to do i need to run these numbers to see what makes sense or or it might be like hey i'm super interested in fuel refining um Maisel, cool let's see where you're located uh it you're on promature yeah so it, it depends on what you're you're what you want to do maybe you get to the point where you're like oh i'm super interested in fuel refining i'm gonna i'm gonna go to Catilla, right or hey i'm gonna go into construction or hey i'm gonna double down and i'm gonna make promature just farm base and then um export all of my my uh crops to the nearby planet well, i don't know what nearby planet that is but let's see uh, what's the nearby planet here? Is it Avalon? No. Um, there's there's a planet in Promethor space that is like one jump out that is basically for food processing. You could do that route, right? It it all depends. Um, I don't have much time here, guys. Uh, is there any other questions? Uh... Uh, let me pull that up. I have been flying to Moria with my rats. Is that too far? No, no, no that's, that's a good, um, thing to do. Um, but... Um... So the reason that's a good thing to do is because most people are, yeah, that's the real question, right? Is it earning you more money than Hortus? Um, it can make sense, but the thing to keep in mind, let's see, it looks like it would make you more money. But the thing to keep in mind is that your fuel has costs, so you're going to have to keep that in mind, and um, it might be worth it. Let's just if you're buying prefabs, right? So let's see, like BSC, IC1, okay. BSC, NC1, it looks like... Okay, so yeah, you can buy it for a full, basically 1,300 cheaper, or 1,300, 1,100 cheaper. Sorry, I can't do math. I am... I, 130 cheaper uh, you can buy uh, BSCs for. So it can make sense. It depends. You just have to run the math. That's effectively what you need to do. Uh, is there any other questions from anyone? I'm going to have to jump off in a little bit here, but uh, I hope that was useful. Um, I'll bring up this pro tip here, uh, what you should do if you want to keep an eye on prices, um, is you go to the comms, uh, you create a new group, and I'm going to call this a uh, price check. You are going to dock it somewhere on your UI. I'm going to delete this in a bit, but what you can do here is like, all right, I am making a lot of rations and drinking water on um, on uh, Promature. Okay, sorry. I had a brain fart there. So what you can do is you can type rat.ic1, dw.ic1, uh, and say I want to keep an eye on all of the basic consumables, OVE, PWO, and uh, coffee. So... What I could do here is I have this available open right here at all times. It's a private group chat with just me in it. And this these prices will auto update. So what you, you you can effectively mimic what is in CXM potentially as well. So you can make a, a private group chat just for rations, dock it somewhere in your tiles. Private group chat just for drinking water, dock it in your tiles, etc. But at a glance, I can go, okay, ration 73, drinking water's cheap, you know, OVE is reasonable, PW is reasonable, coffee is a little expensive right now, right? Like, I can, I can look, I can, at a glance, you can take a look at that. Uh, another quick pro tip is either at the top or the bottom, 
what you can do, let me leave this group here. Uh, at, at the top or the bottom, what you can do is, let's say I want to let me drag this guy down. I, I want to save screen real estate, and I want to, like, it, it, pretend this wasn't here. I want to save real screen real estate, and I have this fleet tab. I don't use it, this fleet tile. I don't use it very often. You basically make it a little expansion area, right? So you just min make it as small as you can. Drag it down, use it, click view, click fly, whatever. Go back. Um, another thing that people aren't aware of, I guess, I, sh I should have just mentioned this right now, but um, if you see this little blue bar here, or even anything, right? So I could BUI FP. So this little blue bar, the inner part of the window, you can drag and drop into an empty tile. Uh, what else? I think I went over most of everything then. Um, those are the quote-unquote pro tips. I'm sure there's a few I'm missing, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to jump off, guys. Um, I'll make sure to publish this to YouTube because it was requested, but... Um, yeah, uh, feel free to jump into the discords, ask in the in-game chat. Everyone's super friendly except for Gladdy, as is the custom. Uh, and uh, thanks for c coming. Uh, don't don't scr don't like follow, please. I I don't care. I mean, unless you really really want to follow, I'm not trying to like become a streamer. I'm just trying to help people out. I don't trust uh, Twitch with my full my real name, let alone my tax information to get paid from them. So um, yeah. And also yeah, don't hesitate to send me a message in uh, Slack or whatever. I'm sorry, Slack, Discord, and I'll happy happily. Uh, uh, I'll help happily answer any questions. You guys have a nice day.